of their income just towards rent. Approximately 1.8 million new housing units are needed to meet projected population and housing growth. I moved from Midtown because I was priced out of my apartment. Low-income residents are scared to complain about repairs because we don't have any renter protections. Those who have been waiting for opportunity to come to Oakland are getting pushed out at precisely the moment when opportunity is increasing. This has never been a straight market-based process. This is, there's always been government intervention creating apartheid-like communities. No lot in said tract shall at any time be lived upon by a person not of the Caucasian race. So Japanese, Chinese, Mexican, Hindu. And the legacy of that disinvestment we're dealing with today. For years, the leadership thought that they have to bend over backwards for developers. It's about jobs. It's about economic development. When you have market failure, it's stupid to look to the market to solve it. If we don't get it, shut it down! Whose interests is more important? And how do you manage that conflict? I feel like this is one of the last opportunities a community will have in deciding what their neighborhood is going to look like. Good city! Good city! The rise of cities is upon us. This will require a whole new set of strategies. There is no right answer. There's a right process. And that process respects all of the voices. The biggest question we face is whether or not we're really going to have the courage and the guts to recognize housing as a human right. The question isn't whether everybody has the right to a house. The question is whether everybody has the right to a home.